Welcome back. In a WIS investigation, we found that penalties have never been charged in the Hardscrabble Road Project, despite it being years behind schedule. But getting that information took a while, even though these are projects funded by your tax dollars. The documents are public record, but they're not always easy to find. In South Carolina, it can be quite a process. In many cases, you can't just go online and get this information. So we looked for solutions when it comes to transparency. Now our reporting is causing talk at the State House about potential changes for the South Carolina Department of Transportation. Many drive hard scrabble road every day. And many complain about the traffic and the seven years of construction on Hard Scrabble Road. Jay Shooping did more than just complain. After a couple of times going through that, I thought, you know, I need to see what's going on here. For more than a year, Shooping has requested dozens of documents about the Hard Scrabble Road project through the Freedom of Information Act. He's retired, but worked in construction for more than 35 years in a business administrative role. I just felt like I was uniquely qualified at that time in my life and at that physical location that I was placed there. I just was going to a basketball game. He sent all those documents to WIS and started a blog so anyone could see what he found. I'm retired. I have time and I have a passion for helping people. And you're getting emotional about it, so why, why do you feel that way? Because you've put a lot of work into this. I, I see people getting squashed mm -hmm. by a big government agency, and they know I have no recourse. Over the past year, Shooping and WIS have requested documents detailing construction schedules, the reasons for delays, and internal messages. As far as the process of getting documents, mm -hmm. It's organized, it can be frustrating. You request something and it takes them 10 to 14 days to tell you if you can even get it or not. And then it takes them maybe another 30 days to get it to you. So you're talking about 45 days to get a document. That's public record. Now, Tom Petty has a song about the waiting is the hardest part. That's kind of what it is with this. Yeah, yeah with no. the Freedom of Information Act. <laughs> it's free, but you... It doesn't mean it's drive through service. Mm -hmm. The Freedom of Information Act, also called FOIA, is what makes these records available to the public. It's also what makes council or school board meetings open to anyone. So you, the taxpayer, knows what's happening in your government. And their idea of transparency is not what I am used to. I think the legislature or whoever gets to make up these rules needs to be involved. This does not ever have to happen again. FOIA does vary some state to state, but some states are more forthcoming with information than others. For example, go to current projects on the South Carolina Department of Transportation's website. When you type in Hard Scrabble Road, nothing comes up. Then if you look at SCDOT's programmed project viewer, it still says the anticipated contract completion date is 2022. You don't have to look far to see a different way of handling this information. The Virginia Department of Transportation has this on its website, an interactive dashboard that shows every project in the state. It shows if a project is over or under budget, ahead of schedule or behind schedule, down to the number of days. Thanks to WIS and the final reporting, uh, it is an issue that we think is necessary for us to address here in South Carolina. Senator Daryl Jackson represents Richland County. He's also the chairman of the Senate Finance, Transportation and Regulatory Budget Subcommittee. I recently called him about the online project dashboard. But I do think this is a great idea. When, when I saw it and, and it was brought to my attention what Virginia had done, I said it was something that I think can work very well here. Last week, Senator Jackson recommended a proviso to the subcommittee directing South Carolina Department of Transportation to create a user-friendly dashboard like the one in Virginia. I think would be very uh, transparent to our taxpayers. I appreciate the proviso and because it is a proviso, it would um, help encourage DOT to work with this committee right. uh, to ensure that its work product is what we anticipate.
The subcommittee did adopt the proviso, which is the first step toward that potential dashboard actually happening. But that proviso still, of course, needs to get approved a few more times in the legislature to become a reality. I did ask SCDOT for an interview about this in my investigation. They declined, but you can read all of the documents found in this project and watch my full investigation on WISTV.com. We'll have it all posted this evening.